have a uh, nice, almost full set of uh, Honor Special 20s. Um, pretty much brand new. Um, the one exception is a uh, good old B flat blues heart. Um, I've had this one for a while, but uh, these ones just came in the mail as somewhat of a high school graduation gift. And um, so far, they're making me really happy because they sound good. So, you just graduated high school? Yep. And what are your plans in the future? Um, well, I'm going to keep playing with, uh, with the blues band, uh, for sure, and um, probably do a year or two at uh, community college, transfer credits to Hack or Lebanon Valley, or Millersville, from Hack to Millersville, Lebanon Valley, uh, to major in music ed, but uh, those plans are tentative as of now. Okay. Uh, you had a lot to say in your email about the blues and why you picked it right. up and how it made you feel. So go ahead and riff on that if you um, want. Well, um, actually, one of my final projects in uh, in high school was um, a presentation of, about blues in general. Um, and it was kind of a bummer because I was only given uh, 15 minutes to present and people have written books and books and books on the blues in general. Um, but I just kind of wrote something down that I, I liked and that I was kind of proud of, but more or less the blues is a, um, the voice, uh, musical voice of a generation that's dressed in the blood, sweat, and tears of um, oppression injustice and um, social and economic strife and it you know you, you listen to other music and I'm just, I'm a music geek in general so um, I'm, I'm a really big fan of classical music and I use classical in the broad sense including Renaissance Baroque uh, romantic era just everything um, but you listen to stuff like uh, Beethoven and Chopin and it's really poignant emotional music, but um, the thing about the blues is that it's it's more, in my opinion at least, it's more down to earth than it's, it feels like it's coming from someone that's on your level. So when you listen to stuff like Chopin and Beethoven and Schubert and Schumann, um, it it feels like it's coming like you can you can't quite relate to it, but it's it strikes emotion. With the blues, do you feel like someone's talking specifically to you about your own struggle? And everybody's got something to struggle with, uh, you know, on different levels, be it from, you know, the middle school girlfriend dumping your, uh, all the way up to, you know, death in the family, just all di different degrees of severity and, um, you know, it all hurts. So, uh, so I think the blues kind of is, is there for everybody and it's there for sort of the common man, so to speak. And, uh, and the great thing about, like, the origin of blues is that, um, you know, it, it's not made by professional, brilliant musical geniuses. It's a bunch of poor people sitting with homemade instruments just singing about whatever. And um, it's just whatever's on their mind, whatever they're, they're feeling. And it's, it's so genuine, in my opinion, that, you know, it's kind of hard to turn away. So, um, I don't know, once, once I started playing at least, uh, it's, it definitely feels like home. So, playing with the, the guys I'm playing with now, um, we've all dealt with a, a good deal and we've all lived a little, so we can all um, pretty honestly be on stage and perform blues like 
actual blues musicians. And, but uh, yeah, it's it's a good it's a good feeling to be on stage playing blues because you know you can feel people rela relating to it and um, particularly you know we're we like playing on stages uh, in big venues, but you know just playing open mics and bars and stuff, you can look around and you can see individual faces and you know get a feel for how each person's relating. But um, so yeah, that's uh, that's Aaron Lewis on blues. Could you tell me a little bit about the piece that you just played? Like, did it have a name, or were you just um, freestyling? Yeah, it's pretty freestyle. Almost, almost everything we we play uh, as a band, everything I play as a band, um, or with the band. I mean, uh, it's you're never gonna hear it the same way twice unless you listen to a recording of it. Um, that's another thing about um, about blues. It's so unique is that that specific moment of music is entirely unique and entirely special in its own way whereas other pieces of music you have everything written out and um, you know the way that it's supposed to be performed and if it's not performed that way then it's not that piece but um, we we've, we've done um, old standards like uh, um, Sweet Home Chicago, States Row Blues. We've thrown those into uh, into medleys before. We've done them by themselves. We've done them slow, fast, um, full bands, uh, just acoustic guitar and harmonica. Um, that piece that I just did was uh, it's actually off a, a blues guitar like practice CD. So it's just kind of like a, a improvised jam on a CD that you know you can solo over, but uh, I kind of found it and realized that you don't necessarily have to play guitar, you can play harmonica too, so I like it.